Libra. Oh, Libra. What's popping? What's going on in the life of a Libra between the 16th and the 31st of October? Hmm. Hmm. Y'all grounding yourselves and finding this good self love? Hmm. Hmm. Are y'all aligning yourselves? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot channel. This is your first time viewing my channel. Hey, boo, hey. I'm Mocha. Also, this is your first time viewing my channel. Look out. I may cuss a little. I may cuss a lot. Just depending on what the hell these cards say. <laughs> so if cussing bothers you, this is not your channel because I'm going to cuss. Okay? It's many, many beautiful readers on YouTube. Please feel free to go find their page. And I still love you long time. I just got to be my authentic self unapologetically so I don't apologize for cussing because I cuss. <laughs> um, you guys, this is not a personal, it's a general. If you need a personal, that information can be found within the description. I currently have a $15 sale off of my 30, 45, and 60 minute session. So if you'd like a personal reading, I am available. Hit me up. Um, also, um, for new subscribers, welcome to the family. We live dysfunctional. We don't fight, we don't fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. <laughs> but we do cuss. We grow. We evolve, we share, we love, we enlighten. Positive shit only over here, okay? So if you didn't come for positive shit, keep your comments to yourself and just keep it moving, okay? I may not have time to answer each and every comment, y'all, but I do read each and okay? every comment. Thank you for all the likes, shares, subscribes, and the comments. I'm nothing without you guys because I would have nobody to shine my light to, right? So thank you so much, so family. I truly appreciate y'all. All right, so without further ado, you know I don't like long intros. We're getting into it. This will be for my sun, moon, rising. Venus, as well as the cross watchers of the sign of Libra from the 16th to the 31st of October. Y'all know I got a Libra rising, so I'm praying this, this shit gonna work out just fine. <laughs> Gemini reading was pretty lit, and I have a Gemini. My Venus is a Gemini, so it's y'all it's going down. If you need a personal, please hit me up. <laughs> so, as Libra, we're gonna start with your spirit message. A lot of you all with this um, Venus retrograde in Scorpio, a lot of you all foundations are falling. The foundation around the things that you thought was solid, prepare for them to fall. Because a lot of things need to heal. Libra, you guys have been pushing forward, pushing forward without acknowledging a lot of your issues and doing the internal work. Which is why people, places, and things are seemingly seemingly to be disappointing, I'd say. Okay? I would say a lot of you all are really needing to heal from... Rooted abandonment issues. The root of the issue, I got the father. Some of you guys need to acknowledge the issues around your father because it has to do with how you receive love and the lessons that love is to bring you, but you won't take them and acknowledge the root of the problem, okay? Some of you all possibly didn't grow up without a father, or if you did have a father, you just tried to allow this person, you wanted this person to accept you so much that you really didn't communicate your feelings when they were hurt. You just moved forward. You know, and embrace the little love that they possibly had to give you. And in love, you find yourself doing the same shit. You're needing to take the mask off during this time and truly be reflective on where this toxic energy in your relationships come from. You're needing to truly, truly, truly reflect so that you can see both your light and the dark sides of Libra. You're needing to take the mask off and see the things that you don't want to see, the ugly side. The dirty, nasty side, not of yourself, but of the people who you allow in your life. And I feel like during this time, a lot of you guys are going to be finding a lot of feathers. It's Spirit's way of letting you know that you are protected and that you are never alone. Some of y'all got real live acceptance issues. You feel as if, well, I, why, why come I'm not enough? Well, how come this person had to go do this here? How come I'm not enough? A lot of you guys are really going to be seeing the beauty within yourself. And really appreciating and basking in the newness that's all around you for those of you who are putting in the work. Some of you all have recept excuse me, receiving issues because you're so used to giving all the time. Give, give, give. You may have a water sign in your oh, y'all got my nose itching. You may have a water sign in your energy. And this person is trying to share with you. They're trying to send you love. They want to grow with you. They want to give you that foundation that you've been seeking so long, but you are fighting it tooth and nail because you don't know how to receive it. And instead of not being a little prideful or having that big ego, a lot of you all are just not communicating what the root of the issue is or you don't want to see it at this time. 
Some of you all during this time, y'all going to be more close to the spirit than y'all have ever been in your life. Some of y'all have been in super, super, super prayer mode. And y'all are going to, it's going, y'all finna go in super scion, super scion, scion prayer mode. And there's nothing wrong with that with connecting with spirit, okay? Some of you all are truly trying to align yourself with what am I here for? What is my calling? What is my purpose? For some of you all, it's simply to give and receive love. Some of you all attract broken people because you got to mend the, mend the pieces within yourself. Okay? Self-love. The self. Some of you all really need to be in a med Some of you all are going to be in a very meditative state. Really, really, really seeking the love and trying to come back into tune with the love that lives within you for yourself and stop depending on other people to give you that love because they're going to keep letting you down because you can't expect for broken people to mend your pieces. Some of you all are very reflective over the past during this time. Your third eye is going to be pouring new information. Some of y'all may have issues sleeping as well. Go to sleep. I'm, uh, you need to get, get into some type of a uh, Sea salt baths or as well as Himalayan salts. They'll help you so much with the soothing of sleeping or Dr. Teal's uh, soothing sleep. Some of you all, hmm, you need to see things for what they are during this time and truly communicate your truths. Some of you all have people in your energy that's wanting you to see things their way. And the conflict is coming from the fact that you see it for what it is, but you're just not being real with yourself. Which in return, you're not being real with this other person. And your fucking purpose in their life is to help them heal. Some of you all, you have an earth sign in your energy. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You may feel this person, I feel like this person may pull you, get you through a lot of things. A lot of y'all are putting y'all faith, all of your faith in a person. Spirit needs, God needs that, God needs that from you. That same energy. God needs that same energy from you, Libra. Some of you all are will be in a very, very, very grounded place, and you may find yourself with having people lean on you a lot during this time because they need you for your wisdom. They know that you're a good listener. They look at you kind of as an advisor in their life, okay? But you need to get grounded yourself and put up boundaries and know when, when, when it's time to say no. It's okay to say no. It don't make you selfish to say no, Libra, because saying yes to people and it's constantly pulling from you and taking from you, what do you have left at the end of the day to give to yourself and your family or your surroundings, your inner peace? What do you have to give? Some of you all, they go their water sign again. Some of you all are grounding yourself. You're balancing your masculine and the feminine within yourself. You will be doing that. And it's going to help you to move away from turbulent people, places, and things. However, be in acknowledge mode and allow those foundations to fall with acknowledgement. The first step to recovery is acknowledging the problem. You understand? Some of you all, some of you all will be actually finding out that you're pregnant during this time. Congratulations, baby. My beloved kids. Some of you all. Or definitely having issues with receiving a divine love. As it was written. So be it. But some of you all, it's a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. During this time, Libra, it's time to blow the whistle. Some of you all are having the option to resurrect family situations that you thought was dead, done, and over with. Okay? Some of you all. The judgment is, look, the horns is blowing. This person then got in alignment, okay? But it's something about the throat chakra. Y'all throat chakra is needing work. Communicate. Communicate your, your authentic feelings. Communicate how you genuinely feel about things. If you don't like it, fuck who don't like it. If you don't like it. So that's what matters, okay? Don't get stuck and be a slave to the we. Don't forget about the I. Because if I is not right, we can't do shit for nobody. Some of you are very burdened by a new beginning, possibly with the fire sign, Aries, Bill, Sagittarius. Some of you all have a family. Uh, some of you all have, you could have been married to someone 
But some of you all have a very toxic bond with the Capricorn as well. I feel like you could have a family or a family dynamic with this person, but you having to carry all of the weight. And you have something new on the brink. However, you're not wanting to put these burdens down, baby. Put some burdens down. Let that hurt go. A relationship is a two-way street. That means in order for both people to travel down that damn road, both of them got to be willing to take that walk and put in the work. Some of you all, y'all got a water sign in love with you, but you need to be reflective. You need to truly go inside and allow this person, huh, that's crazy. As soon as I said it, I just seen the queen of cups, then the king fell out. Some of y'all are in love with the water sign. You're truly in love with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio, but your toxicity around a new beginning or your toxicity around the ideas, your toxic thoughts around letting things go that don't serve you, you have like ties. Like, I need this. I need for this person to mistreat me. This motherfucker treat me right. And I don't I don't know how to receive that. You're needing to communicate. Communicate. Go deep, baby. Communicate. For some of you all, it's a Pisces. Some of y'all are in love with the Sagittarius, but I'm going to be honest with you. This person is broken. This person is going through their own karmic karmic battles. And I feel like the reason why they don't talk to you right is because maybe they don't know how. Their roots is also needing to be worked out. This is a very purging time. I did job video after 10, 10 for a reason. Tens are the ending so that new beginnings can show their faces. Some of you all want to reconcile possibly with the Leo, or you will be reconciling and have an option to reconcile with the Leo. I feel like this person loves you. They just don't know how to talk to you. Some of you all possibly are going to be faced with reconciling with someone who possibly made you feel like you weren't good enough or that you weren't enough. But some of you all, they go to Leo again. It could have been um, a Leo, but this could be Aries, Leo, Sag as well. I mean, you know, Aries are Sag as well. But some of you are, you're making a water sign in your energy or you have a water sign in your energy making you feel lack thereof, baby. But you need to give that love to yourself. You're going into a whole new cycle and everybody can't go. For those people who have not put in the work, why are you feeling bad when you worked your ass off by yourself? Rather, whoever was around, you did that. You got it out the mud. So why are you worried about having to leave somebody behind? Some of you all, you have um, a Capricorn person who wants to reconcile. And I feel like your thoughts around it is like, oh, hell no, because back when we had dealt with each other before, you know, it went like this. It went like that. Some of y'all are just focusing on the tower behind the offer that's coming versus focusing on the offer. Because for some of y'all, this person wasn't doing shit. And now that they wanting to do is come in and it's causing you a tower moment because you really don't know how to receive that. But you're needing to look within yourself to see what it is within me that has me as to where I can't forgive and I can't let that go because spirit is really wanting y'all to move forward. Some of you guys will be moving forward possibly with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or moving away from this person. For some of y'all, you're moving away from an Aries. For some of you all, and I feel like this person is trying to make an offer to mend fences during this time. Some of y'all are going into a new phase or a new uh, a new cycle with um with the Leo, a Taurus, or a Scorpio. But understand, this full moon is going to be really interesting for Libra. The twenty fourth on the full moon is going to be really inter but it's interesting. But it's the ending time. It's time for the judgment. It's judgment time. What the fuck have motherfuckers brought to your life? But some of y'all they brought juggling. Some of y'all are juggling between um. A earth sign and a water sign. For some of you all, you have this thing done to you in your energy. And you're wanting to move forward. And this person is not communicating that they broke and they fucked up. They don't know what they want. Some of you, you have a new beginning trying to trying to take place. Some of y'all have a Taurus that want to put a ring on it. Okay? But they feel that you're indecisive about it. And it's really making this person feel like, damn... Am I not enough? Some of y'all may be getting engaged during this time. Congratulations, baby. I hope I didn't just ruin the surprise because I feel like somebody is keeping this close to their chest. Some of y'all have a new beginning with the Pisces, but some of y'all is with the Scorpio. But I feel like you're needing to, in order to truly embrace this love and embrace this change, the change in order to recreate your reality, baby, starts within you. 
strong Leo vibe. Y'all are definitely dealing with Leo. Some of y'all intuitively know if there's a Leo finna come forward. I feel like I'm speaking to a Libra who's been by themselves. They kind of just, you just been in solitude for some time. And in this solitude, were you able to really see, you know, the, the repetition, the repetitious patterns around your love life, around the, the synchronicities? Okay, some of y'all may be noticing, damn, I go through a breakup every year around this time. Damn. Everybody who I dealt with was a fucking liar. Or everybody who I dealt with was manipulative. You are what you attract. Remember that. Whether you want to see it or not, it's just the law of attraction and how it works, baby. You want you want change, you gotta be the change you wish to you wish to see. Period. Okay? Some of you all may be having a passionate new beginning with a Virgo. But some of you all, you have a Virgo very passionate about you. However, there are secrets that are going to be revealed. Towers got to fall in order for foundations to be revealed. Some of y'all are going to be hearing some truths. Some of y'all got a Virgo coming to tell the truth. And I feel like you could have walked away from this person before. Some of y'all actually had a water sign walk away from you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person's coming back with the truth. But what they're coming back and telling you around truth is either I'm indecisive, Libra. I got work to do. I don't know which way I want to go. Or Libra, maybe this is you. Indecisive about even having the conversation. Even entertaining it or dealing with it. Even though there's so much love here, but there's so much indecisiveness and not enough communication. Y'all see all these damn cards on this table? You know how many swords I got? One. Two. Three. I got three swords. Which lets me know Libra's not talking. You're not saying anything. Even though... This is your ultimate goal. This is what you want. This is what you want. This is what you want. Some of y'all have an Aryan. Okay? An Aries that wants marriage from you. But some of y'all is a Taurus. Virgo Capricorn. Some of y'all is a water sign. But some of y'all is fire. And this person could have actually left you before when you spoke about the idea. So I feel like now that this person's coming back, you're just keeping everything close to your chest. But how is that going to benefit you? You can't get your time back. Why let people, why allow people to waste your time that you cannot get back? It doesn't make sense. If you're going to invest in a person, place, a thing, and not stand up and fight for the right shit, but really be willing, be willing to do the, do the hard work and take that damn mask off to really see what work needs to be done, Take the blindfold off and it starts within you. Then can you move forward? These foundations, these towers, I have two towers here. The towers have to fall in order for you to go into newness the right way with structure and order. Anything you do in this world, you're going to have to have structure and order around it. Hell, we was created around structure, order, and law. You understand? Y'all think about it. But a person is only going to do what you allow them to do. But you got to be willing to put in the work. Because a lot of this I see is inner work. Spirit is speaking. Will you listen? This is what I have for my Libras between the 16th and the 31st of October. I, will, I send y'all much, much, much love. Much abundance. Much, much, much healing energy. Truth. Love and light. We family. Ain't no judgment up in here. If you need a reading, hit me up. Until then, I love y'all babies. Namaste. Get right though.